Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about Karen Wang, that liberal candidate for Burnaby South facing off in the by-election against Jagmeet Singh. Now I know you're kind of thinking, liberal candidate? Isn't she the former liberal candidate? But I'm, I'm taking a bit of a pause here, a bit of a time out on all of it, because even when the story first broke, I thought, I, I'm unclear what the big deal is here. I mean, I'm, I'm not getting to be in my bonnet over this. Not because one shouldn't be campaigning that way, but because I've thought for years that the massive ethnic pandering that we do in this country is too much, that it shouldn't be done, it has to stop. But no one seemed to agree with me, so I thought, all right, I guess this is the new normal. What's different now? Why suddenly all the fuss? I guess because she got caught. I guess because she didn't just say vote for me because I'm the only Chinese candidate. She said don't vote for this person or imply don't vote for him because of his ethnicity. Is it also partially because this was a case of uh, two different non-white candidates up against each other and it's a little different when one of the candidates is seen to have a, a male privilege or a white privilege. And this isn't just uh, me making a hypothetical. I read some old stories from 2014 about when uh, high-profile NDP or Olivia Chow ran to be mayor of Toronto. And I found a number of stories out there in, in major papers, National Post and, and other outlets, talking about her campaign and how the Chinese community was rallying behind her. And they were saying, we are supporting her because we want to see the first Chinese woman be, be mayor of a major city, things like that. And they weren't even saying they agreed with her NDP values. Olivia Chow herself at one point, at one uh, big campaign event, at one big uh, one big debate during the election, she said, well, one reason I differentiate myself, I'm not male and I'm not white. And I think a few people criticized her for that, but it wasn't really the end of the game. She continued with the campaign and she went through it relatively unscathed, placed a pretty poor third, but still, this stuff, to a different degree, to varying degrees, is happening all the time in Canada. Candace Malcolm wrote that this is just the inevitable outcome of Trudeau's post-national state, this encouragement that there is no unifying core Canadian identity going on, encouraging people to think of themselves as, uh, as you know, ethnic ghettoization and so forth. And Candace is right. I don't think it's healthy what Karen Wang was, was saying and doing. I don't think that's the way we should think about uh, each other in this society. It should be civics first. It should be Canadian citizens. It should be taxpayers. All these things that unify us and rally us together. Well, we're going to have to have a conversation in this country because it's been happening for a long time. All of the political parties in this country have been exploiting it. And maybe finally, it's about to change. What do you think?